Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I am here with my iPad, so I apologize for being a little wiggly right now. But what you are looking at is my newest addition to my studio. Yesterday, I came out and I put this CD storage unit together. Now this comes, as this one is, just with two panels. But some of them are three and four panels. I didn't have that much space. So what I did, as you can see down below, oh, wobbly, wobbly, this right here is two shelves. So I decided to put that under this only to make it a little bit taller. As you know from the rest of my studio, I like to go vertical. Um, Unfortunately, it means I can't have a lot of stuff on my walls, but for the most part, nothing in here is permanent anyway. <laughs> so, but I wanted to show this to you. What I used to have, if you remember, sitting on that empty shelf, which of course won't be empty long, and I'll tell you that in a second, used to be those paper box lids that I had spray painted. Now, having my stamps on there was fine because I sorted them by type, you know, sceneries or people, whatever. And it was fine. I didn't label the boxes. I had intentions to. But what I found is I definitely am one of those people that needs to see what I have, especially since I have so much stuff. So that's when I decided and went online and started looking for alternatives. Now, I didn't really want anything really deep because, again, that kind of defeats the purpose. So I went with this. Now, next to it, I do have space. So I'm hoping that both of my carts are going to fit in that space. I'm pretty sure they will. And then they'll go over there. And then that um, rolling cart that has my Cricut on it, which I have never used as much as I always intended is going to have to find a new home and it might be just at the end of the tables here where I can plug it in and, and put it to use again if it's ready. <laughs> um, now, as far as that shelf is concerned, you know darn well I'm not going to keep an empty shelf. But let me show you this. Let me get up close here. As you can see, that is a wire shelf, but they come, you can buy these plastic pieces that are pretty stout, these shelf liners. So I'm thinking that I have an extra one here that I just slid on a shelf because I didn't know where it belonged. Um, I don't I don't honestly remember. So I'm going to go through and investigate and see if I do have a spare one. And if not, I'll have to figure something out. But what I'm going to do is those binders here have stencils in them. The three to the very left have my ATC cards and the three in the middle, yeah, three in the middle hold stencils. Now the thing on the end that I have collaged is one of those ugly gray plastic things that hold usually screws and everything. I have a lot of my metal stuff in there. So whatever I do, my shelf has to be wide enough in order to hold that. So I'm thinking I'm going to go down with that. Then this shelf up here that is a little bit of hodgepodge on it is probably going to split the difference between these two shelves. And what my plan is, I have kept outside my pieces of vinyl tablecloth. And I've been on a real kick lately to stain paper. I've had some people request my paper for sale and I'm going to try to accommodate but what I've kept my vinyl in is just a big plastic tub and here's some that I've been using um, I've enjoyed collecting different prints you notice I said collecting and not hoarding different prints but they need to lay flat um, to avoid any ripples and bubbles when you go to put them on your paper so that is what I'm going to put on the empty shelf, which is another reason why I need to find the um, flat liner. And, and then that should do it. What's so funny is I've been over here for about two years, just about, 
and I still find stuff in my house that needs to be over here. So even though I've been here for so long, it is still a work in progress. And one other thing that I'm going to be working on, and this is not that exciting, <laughs> but it's one of those things that I think people need to know. My bookcases that hold all my books that I tear up and I use as ephemera, my bookcases, and I'm not sure you can see this from the wall, is leaning forward. And let me go over here. I have put some pieces of vinyl flooring up under it to kind of wedge it back. Well, if you noticed, I did not do it on these long pieces that go down. That's where it needed to be. It's on the pieces that hold the shelves. When I put it here, all it did was wedge up that bottom shelf. It didn't do the whole bookcase. So my buddy Annette is coming, and we're going to spend a couple weeks together. And our first stop is here. So she has told me that she will help me again take all my books off my bookshelf, and then we will get that that wedged up and wedged back. Uh, I have great concern that one day it is going to tip over. I put my biggest books, which I would assume are my heaviest books, on the bottom, but when you have that many, it probably doesn't matter. The distribution, it's a lot of weight. So I am going to do that, so stay tuned. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to show you my new little pride and joy was my CD rack and holding my wooden stamps. I don't buy many wooden stamps anymore because, um, as we all know, they do take up a lot of room. And I'm not one to unmount them unless they're like dollar stamps or something, um, you know, we pay all that money and you know you're paying for the wood too. I just can't bring myself to unmount them. But anyhow, that's it. And I hope you enjoy my new little addition to the um, sh studio, a.k.a. the Pinecone Cabin. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, to come check me out on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter on Etsy and I will catch you. Thanks again. Bye.